we are hoping to um, ignite a sense of hope, a sense of courage, and to shift people's mindsets and reconnect with the natural world. The exhibition starts with a uh, five meter high by three meter wide projection of a Colombian rainforest tree. And what this allows the visitors to see is the inside of the tree. And through this, it allows people to connect with the natural world and feel a sense of belonging. This really sets up the tone of the exhibition. Sanctuary of the Unseen Forest is a video installation where we captured a, an emergent tree from the Colombian Amazon. We found the tree and LiDAR scanned, but also uh, did ecological surveys and interviews with the ethnobotanists and people around it. How the water moves from roots all the way to the canopy, how trees govern Earth's climate, how they make their own clouds, and how much carbon they sequestrate, and what happens to that carbon when they go back into the soil. What we are trying to do is somehow unravel the, the liveliness, the, the intelligent animism that happens inside and peel off the, the, the skin off the tree to show everyone what's actually going on. After this, we take people through a series of 10 uh, propositions, asking them to imagine a different kind of world for example, we ask people to imagine the world in which we cherish the soil beneath our feet. There's a collaboration between George Monbiot, the activist and writer, and Halish in the digital design studio. And through an um, eight-screen uh, immersive installation, which is circular, that people can step into, we take people underground. With this piece, we wanted to show the fascinating parts of the soil, uh, how everything comes to life within it, that it's not an inert substance and gives life back to us. It was really important for us to make sure that all of the exhibits, especially in the Imagine section, were credible and they were, they were backed up by real science, real research. So what we came to this exhibition with, being a cultural centre, is the power of um, creativity and imagination and bringing that together with science. For example, we worked with uh, Bridget Baptiste, who is an eminent uh, ecologist, a dean of a university in Bogota in Colombia, who writes extensively on queer ecology, and brought her together with the Institute of Digital Fashion. So through bringing together academic thinking with um, creative studios, we're able to make an, uh, an accessible exhibit. If people come away feeling more connected to the natural world, hopefully that will ignite hope in them to want to do something themselves and hold other people to account to um, affect the issue with the climate emergency. We got to a place where we have to face with some of the realities and it's the question of what we're going to do with the, the remaining time we have.